Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. So there's quite a lot to do in this episode, I think. Or oh, maybe I can't do it all in this episode. Because we actually managed to produce the the saw and the windmill. And I finished off doing the windmill bits. So let's get on and start with those, I think. Fact, the very thing, the first thing I'm going to start with is this. Actually a juicer. I'm going to make a juicer quickly. I think I can make a juicer. I need one button. And I think it's just a... Yep, one juicer from Tiny Progression, so now I can basically put that, I think it goes this way around. Like that, we can make some apple juice. 29 of those, and you actually get much better. Um, both saturation and food from that one. I think there's another recipe for juicer, but that was actually a tip from <coughs> Psycho Nightmare Mangle. So let's have a look at this juicers. There's two, there's the Pam's Harvest Craft one. And if we look for the uses of that, we should be able to see apple juice as being one of them. Uh, strawberry juice. That it might be, it looks like it uses two apples. And this one actually, I think all of the juices have that sort of the same sort of thing. So obviously the tiny progressions one is probably better. If I can see apples at all, it is of course. It's a possibility it doesn't exist, in fact. Maybe it's easy to do it the way around and look for apples. Let's look for the uses of that one. Right, click it. Um, I wonder if it's a crafting recipe. Probably it's a crafting recipe. Let's try crafting recipes. 12 pages anyway, it's less. So that's the one from Pan's Harvest, uh, which is actually not that, which is worse because you've got sugar or honey plus an apple because you less than the one we got to the moment so I'm going for that one for the time being which is great thanks very much for the tip by the way psycho now next thing to do let's go into this chest again and have a look so basically I've got 24 coke bricks and that's actually not too difficult to make I've also got this and I want some more bricks and I want some porcelain and I want these fourth and I'll leave that for the time being I'll take this heart and the loot chest. I got the loot chest because I made the flint hatchet. So I'll leave the flint hatchet in there for the time being. So that gives you a clue as to what we're going to do. Let's open this loot chest. I think I got it from the flint hatchet, so I didn't open it until now. So we get an iron scythe from, and a, a, a stone sickle. Uh, requirements farming 10 and, and I can use the stone sickle. We'll put those two in this chest here, I think, for the time being. And this heart will eat. Right, click it. Gives us another heart on our bar. So now, what else can we do? Right, I think the first thing I'd like to do is to just to show you how I've been making clay. I think I've got some in here, prepared stuff in here. No, I haven't. So all I've been doing for clay has been taking some dust like this, and I haven't been grinding it in this because it's it takes far too long to do that. And it's much easier to just get a bucket of water out of here. If I've got a bucket, I may have. Put the bucket of water in a stone or wooden barrel, doesn't make much difference. And then put the dust into that. And, that. and take, the, take the block of clay out, and then we can split it into four clay balls, as it were, like that. And in his hopper, I've just got some, uh, some oak leaves just making water when I take a bucket out. Obviously, that required living wood, which I couldn't do to start with, so it was easier to make it using a uh, cactus so now I want to finish off these res this recipe here let's look at the recipe for that one so it's this one sandstone is just four pieces of sand in a thing so we can make our three so now we've got 27 we can go and make the, the, the coke furnace we want the coke furnace because we want to do some more bits and pieces I need a <laughs> That's not working. <clears throat> Let's put it in here. Ooh, it's going to be a bit big in here, isn't it? It's probably not going to work in there. Tell you what, we're going to have to make this furnace outside. You'll notice that I have got here a part of the base because I was putting up some and a, and a stone spike just in case. Where am I going to put this thing? I was going to put it somewhere near here, I think. Maybe I'll put it at the back here and make some more space. Let's go this way. 
I'll hit. So I'm going to just use the, I think I'll use this diamond pickaxe, or a, no, I'll use the stone pickaxe. We'll change, we'll change the mode to 5x5, five five and we'll come along here, and we'll put in one. I'll have to remove that. Oops. Been attacked. Those embers can be quite distracting. So, um, but <laughs> as you may have noticed, so one, two, three, four, five is here. So I want to set this up here and get. And you see, it already makes a reasonable size hole and breaks the pickaxe almost immediately. In fact, that didn't make as much as it should have done. Let's just take this one. One. That'll be a five. I'll do this one here. It'll be. F oh, didn't press the button, did I? Let's do it in this one. Breaks the pickaxe is very fast because it doesn't do very many blocks. How much? What's the? Um, I haven't got any more with me. I can go and make another one. Or maybe go in the golden bag of holding. I usually have some stuff in the golden bag of holding. I've got an iron pickaxe. I'll use the iron pickaxe for the time being. It's probably. Unfortunately, the tunnels go too. F you just you can't control the depth of the tunnel, so let's just break the stuff away a bit like this. And I want to put it in here, so I think he will do fine. Strange, I've got a. Oh, okay, that's probably some stairs I made. I'll tell you what, we'll do. I'll just make some more. Another rack, fill it in. I don't really want it going up that high, so let's just put this one up there like that, and then we could put our torch back down somewhere. Let's put it on this wall over here, I think. Stone torch. So I want to tidy up this area a bit more and then put the coke oven down. I'll put it down in this corner here like this, I think. So it's just a 3x3. Three three. Like this. And then I can presumably I can use the, the iron one to finish it off. Oh, can't. <laughs> Alright. Let's put it down manually then. Oh, did I take the tool with me? That's another question. Probably didn't. Nope, I haven't picked up the engineer's hammer. I need the engineer's hammer. Let's go and get that. I need to right click this and I'll also get a stack of coal. I've got plenty of coal. That should be a stack of coal in here. So we can get that to start to make some coal coke and some um, creosote, I think it is. Oh, yes, that thing. <laughs> I have to watch out for that thing. It hurts. So let's right click this. Oh, hold on a second. I've got this wrong. That's a bit weird. I thought I just had to right click it. Do I have to right click the middle section? Oh, yes, I do. Right. <laughs> okay, good. So, right, all we have to do now is put the coal in there, and then that can start processing and making some um, coke and some creosote oil, which we should get out of there. So, that's one job of the things done. So, let's, while I'm here, I might as well harvest some stuff. And let's just harvest some carrots and some rice. And these definitely don't seem to be growing. I wonder if they do grow in the nether. I want to have to do something else with them. And now I've got a full up. Actually, it's a great. Let's put the spike away. I don't need that for the time being. And those can carry on growing. And I'll go this way around to avoid that thing. So now I've got a very full inventory again. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just do a recipe for this one. And just right, just right click it and we'll get the all 56. It takes quite slow. That clears out one space. We've got a gore seed and some rice. Where did that come from? I have no idea where that came from. And the seeds and rice go in here. So let's go and put those in this chest. Carrots do and rice. Is that everything I want to get rid of? Let's get rid of the saplings if I can. I've got a place for saplings. I don't know where. I think they go in here actually. Because I've got some more saplings in there. Just middle click the middle, but middle click that and it sorts it out for me. So next thing, 
let's make the porcelain um, I need six pieces I think I've got one piece of porcelain here don't I the unfired crucible no I don't have any huh Sorry, I've got seven. I need another piece of clay. I've got some clay in there. Let's do that. I'm sure I've prepared this. You know, when you think you've done something you haven't, this tends to be a bit of a nuisance. So I need, I'll take four of those. And that will make eight pieces of porcelain clay. Them there. Where did they disappear off to? That's strange. No, oh, 15. Oh, I'm fired porcelain clay. Thought it already made it. Let's make this. And let's put this into this hopper in the top here. Then it'll get put into the furnace and I can take it out of the furnace and get the XP. I actually had. And I was doing quite a lot. I had a hopper underneath. I was just pulling the stuff out. So now I've got a crucible, and I think that is a quest. Indeed, crucible lava. I'm going to put that down over here. Like that. And I can remove this block as well. I don't need this block. How was I doing that pickaxe? I was using this pickaxe, wasn't I? That's interesting. Okay. So what I want to do next is to make the windmill. So let's get the windmill made. Oh, I'll put those away. Where do they live? I'm talking about the sugar cane. I think that's in this chest over here. It is. And the glass, well, the glass is all because I was putting on a sort of a roof. I think I was trying to do a roof. So what I want to do is that, and I think they're already prepared in here. Indeed, they are. end up with these rocks when you break those stuff the, before I actually assemble all we'll assemble the windmill first of all this one and then that should create finish another quest for us I reckon so let's go and check our quests while I'm looking at that one because that is in better with mods so we should have got this one. Oh, do you know that's an en immersive engineering windmill? Is that a ch I'm sure that's changed actually. I have upgraded because that's oh dear. This is where we need a treated wood for. Okay. That's a bit strange actually, I'm surprised about that. I'm I'm certain I looked at this last time. I know that this doesn't work in the it was not supposed to work in the nether. But what we can also do is we can create a wind chime. One of these things. I think we can possibly do that. So what do we need? Aha, <laughs> we can't do it until we made one of these. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to watch out for how I do that then. Huh. <laughs> Because that requires the saw, basically. We can't do the, the oak moulding, because that's basically uh, one piece of sidings cut into two, and a siding is made from one piece of wood planks cut into two. So I need to get the saw up. So I need the other type of windmill. Oh, that's throwing me a bit. But at least we're on the road to doing that. So we can do that as well. So... I also got the watering can. I've now got enough farming experience to use that. I haven't got much to use it on, and it does a three by three, so we'll leave that for the time being. Um, what I want to do next is a, a pickaxe. Another another tip from Psycho Nightmare Mangle. So I'm going to make a pickaxe. No, I'm yes, I'm going to do the pickaxe first. So in here we've got some gold already smelted. So let's put down the stone pickaxe head here. 
and I'm going to make a cast of this one. While that's making its cast, and it'll just, and it'll get rid of the stone pickaxe head, that's fine. I also would like two more pieces of gold because I want to make a pickaxe rod as well. In fact, I'm going to remove this at the heater as well. I'm going to remove the heater because I'm going to. Oh, my inventory is completely full. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Nothing in there I can put away. Let's put away this. I probably will keep that and that one. This I can put in my other hand, and I've got two of those. Let's get rid of those into the bag. And the hammer. That looks a bit better, I think. Okay, we'll put this. In, we'll put this into our off hand as well, so we we can eat when we want to. Right, pickaxe head. So that's now melted that down. So now I can break this again, and this one. Let's do that. Where have they gone to? Because it's obviously quicker to melt stuff on the light with lava than with uh, that. So let's just put that down there, and let's put onto the side of that. And it's quite easy to pick up with a chalice as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to melt two more pieces of gold to make the rod and put the rod down here. Let's take that out of here and put down the rod. We shall wait for those. They won't take too long to do in the, with lava. It takes quite a lot longer with the other one. And actually I'll put this pickaxe head up here on another item rack. So it's out of my inventory for the time being. Those are dead easy to make. Just two slabs together. So it's basically the same as a drying rack. You can do it like this. Slabs. One item rack. We'll put the next one. We'll put them some more item racks up here, so we can. We've got some space for the other stuff. Right, the gold's made. Let's get this prepared. Let's put it into here now. At one ingot of copper. And the other thing I'm going to use, I've been sieving some uh, crushed netherrack. That's one of the things I was doing. Basically, crushed netherrack is fairly straightforward. Let's just quick demonstration of crushed netherrack. Double compressed netherrack. Let's put that down there. Let's get that hammer out of my bag again. I'll use the stone hammer this time. i just break it. Then you get crushed netherrack which we can then sieve in a diamond sieve, because that's the easiest way, like that. Doesn't take too long. And then we end up with some cobalt pieces. Oh, let's get that cast done as well. And then I've actually made up the cobalt. I think they're probably already paired. Why did I put them in here, I guess? I hope I can do this. I'm not 100% sure. We basically need two, so let's just try this. Yep, yeah, looks like that's going to smelt. That's great. Let's take this out of here and remove this one and put the. So that's the copper handle. That gives you XP when you mine. Uh, the next thing I want to make is another cast. I would like to make a. Oh, I don't think I've got enough bits and pieces for that yet thinking about it what I need is some more <laughs> you've got millions of sticks I haven't got any with me some sticks and some planks to make some patterns I'll tell you what we'll do we'll take them out of here half a stack of those and some wood which I've got two there I'll take some more of those I will make some more wood actually that's probably too much give me too much but uh, doesn't matter too much we'll just live with a 40 and we just make some straightforward patterns like this 36 that's plenty forever I think so now our pattern one is part builder nope we need our pattern make chest which tool station I think this one stencil table what we need is a repair kit if I can see it Mm 
what's it telling me sign plates i can't oh this will be this one here look sharpening kit that's the one on so we need to make then make a, a stone sharpening kit and i think the material cost is two so we need two pieces of cobblestone oh no, i haven't got any in there either but with no shortage of cobblestone Unfortunately, I take it out and it just fills up the thing, so there we are. So I put the next one in there like that, and we can make a stone sharpening kit. So I need some more gold for this, obviously. Uh, but this is ready now, so let's put down the pickaxe head here. Take it off the top there, of course. You have to take it from the actual rack, not from the thing. We can, should be able to cast that now. Great. In fact, I want to get two more pieces of cobalt out of the chest I've got three and I'm going to smelt those two but I also need to do gold we'll do gold first because I want to make a cast of this thing so that's let's put that into those two pieces of gold into there and let's now take this should be made which it is great and that's finished so let's put that away i should be able to i think to be honest with you i've got a part chest as well that's a pattern chest and this is a part chest but it doesn't put in the those i don't think um let's put that back up there now what are we doing gold is that ready already that's fantastic let's put the sharpening kit down here get that casted and then put into here two more cobalt ingots and now we can actually make the, the pickaxe let's do the pickaxe stencil table part builder I probably haven't got these in a very good order actually so I'm going to use oh I need some more I need to make the part first don't I I'm going to make a paper um, binding because paper bindings are always fairly good for stuff basically gives you one more modifier so we'll put the pattern over there and the pattern for that into that chest as well and I think I've got all the bits I need now I've got a copper tool rod paper binding and a cobalt pick accent so let's see if we can do that on the right table which is this one <laughs> it took me a while didn't it third time lucky so we can just shift click these into place I think and we get a and it needs gathering and nine and mining ten so that's no big deal mining speed is 12 I think that's fairly fast and durability is reasonably high too now, the number of modifiers it's got is two at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to add I think it's a diamond and an emerald I'm not sure which one I'm going to add in first I've got 17 emeralds and plenty of diamonds I think it's just one of each but I'm not sure which order we need to do that in so let's put the pickaxe into there and then put in the diamond I think so that changes the durability to 1365 and the emerald 12 so we do the diamond first that gives us a 1365 and then if you put the emerald on it it gives you more than the diamond would do Or not as the case may be. I think that'll do for the time being. We could speed it up, whatever we want to do. We've still got a bit more speed, well established. So let's go and test this thing out. And also see how much coal cut we've got. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fairly good for another act, that's for certain. Let's. Uh, hardly touching it to be honest with you it's going right the way through so that's a little bit better than what I've been using for pickaxes so far <laughs> so how are we doing so we've already got 10 coal and we've got plenty of creosote oil have I got a bucket with me I have so I have to put it in here don't I and it takes it out of here great 
I can actually make some treated wood planks. Oh, I got on the quest updated end portal. That's interesting. Let's go and check that quest out. In fact, what I'm going to do, oh, that chest is full. I'm going to make another chest quickly, I think. I need to do something with these, with a knife, I think I need to do. See, I'll make it. You always used to. I'm using lots of stone pickaxes. And I'm going to get rid of this decorative block I've got in my hand here as well. Wow. Well, let's just make some more netherrack here. Let's get rid of this. Let's press R on that. Go back one and shift click these into the place. And then we get 46 more. That's great. So now, let's make our treated wooden planks first of all. Eight. I want to get rid of these as well. Gold. And our diet I can put into here like that. Right, shift. Let's just finish off that last that last one, which was a sharpening kit for this. So let's put that into there. This will basically re completely repair the um, pickaxe when it breaks. And so it's always useful to have it on you. So what I'll just do with these things is I'll put them into the bag like this. Keep them out of the way. So let's get rid of that one. Let's have a quick sort. I want to basically, I don't need the clay with me either. But I've got no space in there for clay. Rough bandstone slabs, let's put the clay into here. It's more useful than the slabs at the moment. I think the slabs can go in here. Like that. And I can also put the paper in here too, can't I? And those, good. At least it's a bit clearer now, so I can get rid of that one. And maybe I can get rid of this as well. Yes, I can, good. That's, that's pretty full, this chest. But at least we can make... Now yeah, we can't make it yet, can we? I need to go and do the windmill first of all. Right. So, the windmill that we would like to make is this one. Now we can actually start to make that, but I need a lot more treated wood than eight sticks. But what I can do is make the mechanical miner. Why don't we have a look in here, first of all? Because that's, that's put a block on that, but this hasn't. I've also got this one as well. There's another quest that we haven't done yet. And that quest is the one for clay. All right, I need some more clay, so I just need some another that bucket and a dust. I'll be glad when I've got some um, mechanism doing this a bit better. I'll tell you. So let's just get the bucket fill in here like this, and put, get some more clay. And there's a bit is a quest for clay and um ground netherrack. And it's six pieces of each. And that should have completed that quest. Grind blocks. So I've done a lot of quests. Update ground blocks. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. What don't I need? Don't need those two for the time being. And that'll do, I think, because I will the rest of it's not too useless at the moment. Because I basically, I show you that roof I made. I don't think I did. As you can see, I've been building it across here. Um, I needed to leave space for the windmill, but basically, it's to protect myself from gassed damage as much as anything else because they their fireballs can be quite nasty so right this vile dust the vile dust is dead easy the recipe for this is just soul sand spelted so soul sand i've got a reasonable amount there's 64 let's just take a couple of pieces out of here and smelt those two. And it gives you vile dust. Yeah. 
like that. And then you can use this file desk. The uses of this is basically to make these transfer pipes. So I basically need some stone slabs. Stone slabs are also very straightforward. I've probably got them already made, I think. I've got four. I need some more. But it's basically three pieces of stone. Let's get the stone slabs made in again. Ten of those now. So I can what I can then do with that with this of course is then to make the to look at the uses again. Some transfer pipes. Now the transfer pipes, let's look at the uses of those. We can make a fluid transfer this one. So we're missing two pieces of stone. Really, just two pieces of cobblestone. Where did I put all that cobblestone? I'm not sure if it consumes the bucket. If it does, it does. And I've got plenty of iron. I can make another one, no problem at all. In fact, it's probably, probably better hammering the iron nowadays. So, right, where are we? Uses of that one. Chisel stone. Oh, it's just stone, stone not, not cobblestone. Try again. And we get four item ducts. So we've got four item ducts and some pipe. That's actually great. Because what I want to do is this. What I want, I'm trying to do is to make some la uh, obsidian. So if I take a barrel, and I've got another stone barrel. Let's we'll take the stone barrel here. Like that. And I'm going to put it here. I think this is probably the best place to put it. And then I'm going to take from the side of this, put a transfer fluid, no, a fluid transfer node down here like that, and then put into this the, the pipes. And I need to take a stick. I think you still use a stick on this. It might have changed actually. I might need to make the hammer. Oh, oh, the wrench. I probably need to make the wrench. No, that's not working on this one. And I don't think it matters. Because what I'm hoping for is we can actually make some. Uh, no, oh, it did consume my bucket. I need to make the, get the other bucket out. Hopefully the bucket's in here. No, it's not. Not sure where the bucket is, to be honest with you. Let's... Can I make this into a block of iron? Nah, it's a bit. Can I was, I'm going to have to do this. Oops, no, that's not going to work, is it? I'm going to have to do this twice, whatever I'll do while that's doing that. Let's just take this one out of here. Oh, and I want to make a tool rack, don't I? An item rack. Let's put, make a couple more item racks while I'm thinking about it. away in a nice sort of tidy a tidy spot up here will do I think and we want the bucket one those are done let's pull that and we get half a bucket then um, I'm stuck on where my bucket is. You've probably seen it while I've been looking around here and you're going to tell me exactly where it is. But I'm being definitely blind. I cannot see it. All right. The bit of that, that iron's just done, it's just has done so I can make the second bucket. That's very strange. Oh, maybe I put it into this chest. Nope, <laughs> I haven't. Huh. 
That's enough to make another almost almost two. Here we go. Right. So let's see if I can put this into here like that. Does it get pulled out of there and pushed into there? It does. <laughs> but it doesn't make the lava. Oh, I don't know how to make lava in this pack at the moment. It's Unless I have to take this up another one. But I wouldn't think so. Maybe I do have... Oh, maybe I do. Let's try that. Because... Let's just break this one off here. I can break it. And then let's just try and put it up here like this. And then if I put down some stone slabs here, oh, that's probably not going to work anyway, is it? In fact, I don't need any more stone slabs. I just need it to come down into this bit. But I don't suppose it's going to work. No, it ain't going to work. I don't know how to do it. Because I basically want the water to pour into here. If I take the water out and use a bucket, it just evaporates. The reason I want to do that is I want to make an absorption hopper. I think I've said that already, haven't I? Um, and it record and that's which one is the absorption hopper? This one. And it requires three pieces of it. That's no problem, the eye of Ender, we can do that. Three pieces of obsidian. So I ain't sure exactly how I'm going to do obsidian. Hmm. And I wanted to do these, didn't I? That's the knife, I think, is the knife. Yep. If I do 12, I want to make some more chests. That's what I wanted to do. chests yeah. good questions where I'm going to put these chests I'm, <laughs> until I get my windmill made I'm going to get a bit stuck aren't I I can't put them there I can't put them there well, I suppose I could put them here oh, I can't put them there there must be some bits that's in the way because what I was going to do is do that and get rid of the bits I don't need So I think, for the time being, that'll do. Let's take the pickaxe. And we'll definitely take this, it's very useful. And the food. And the bucket. We need to go make some more um, creosote, uh, treated wood planks. And there should be plenty of, there should be plenty of that by now. Well, that even slows you down. So, in fact, this says thing. This thing here says use an axe. Have I got an axe? Did I take the axe with me? No, didn't I? Oh, yes, I did. And this one. Oops, that fell into the <coughs> lava. I don't get any seeds from that. Maybe that's what fell into the lava. But I should have got some roots. And these ones here, what you do with those is you cook them. Again, you cook these things. Let's take that out of there. And then that, I think they're safe to eat. Safe to eat raw, question mark. So I guess that means you've got to cook them, otherwise you can't eat them. Well, in fact, I can test that now. Let's just start eat one of these things. Let's see if we can. Yep, that's no problem. Good. Put that one in there. Then we've got that bit clear. Right, some more wooden planks. What I'm going to do, 
between episodes as I'm going to make that other windmill. Oh, I've only got two planks in there now, do some wood. Did I put the planks in this new chest? Another dumping chest that's full. I'm hating my inventory at the moment. It really is horrible. <laughs> I'm sure you are too. I know Creator A loves it. <laughs> Three. In fact, let's go and get some more. I can hear something nasty. I wonder if it is around. Oops, look at that. What did I just pick up? Just XP, huh? There's a whole load of mobs following me. You can just see it on the minimap. They're behind. Yep, here they come. <laughs> Little embers. I'll just stand up here. Maybe they, they don't come, or do they come? I can see over this side here there's a load of things. Alright, well I'm going to have to go and do it anyway. I need the creosote. We should do a quick creosote run for a bucket of creosote. There they come. There's two at least here. There's that shadow. I've got both of them. That one didn't drop anything, but there's still a few more there. I can see them. So, another set. Of, so, between episodes, I'm going to have to make these things, aren't I? Uh, and we should be able to make some sticks from these. How much do I need? So that should allow us to make our first part of the windmill. This one. And how many do we need? Eight plus a piece of iron. So that's one. So that'll be two, three, four, six. That's only enough for six at the moment. Let's take the bucket out. So I'm going to have to keep doing that. But that's it for this episode. It's, uh, it's been quite interesting. No deaths for a change, which makes a pleasant change. Looking at the mini-map with a whole load of mob just below me. Probably those embers. Anyway, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.